And uh, the Lasso Blazers have reached the quarterfinal stage of the 2022 IA Institution Football League after a 4 1 aggregate win over last year's finalists, the AAUA Luminaries, in a pulsating round of 16 encounter. We have the report in this package. The atmosphere at the Lagos State University Sports Center sets the tone for the mouth watering clash between the two sides who are famous campaigners in the IFL Championship. After going away from home to record an impressive 2 0 win in the first leg of their round of 16 clash, the Lasso Blazers were in a strong position to advance to the next round, with their fans expecting nothing short of a victory on home soil. After a cagey first half with no goals scored, the second half started on a dramatic note with the visiting team getting the first goal. The reduced deficit means more pressure on the home side, who responded with an equalizing goal scored by Daniel Odefejo in the 52nd minute. Both sides battled hard to get the decisive goal, but it was the Blazers who were lucky to make it count with the man of the match, Yaya Subar, netting an all-important winning goal. The result means Lasso Blazers advance ahead of last season's runner-up, the AAU Luminaries, on a 4-1 aggregate. I sincerely appreciate all our fans over here. I'm so proud we didn't disappoint them. I so much, I so much, I so much believe, believe in them, believe in them. And with God, we came out victorious. We, we are very happy that we are able to shut up the fans to some extent. And we, we, we know we can go better from here. If you can go to their home and beat them 2-0, how, how would they consider go? But I know, I have the confidence that we will surely equalize and they can't beat us. My boys play better ball. If you watch the football very well, you see that my boys were all everywhere on the field. It's just that luck was just against them. In result of other round of 16 matches concluded, defending champions Unimate Warriors were knocked out on the way goals by the BUK Stallions, while UNN Lions of Nsuka retained their 4-2 advantage from the first leg to eliminate the Uniport Sharks. Kogi State University Steelers also beat Futmina 1-0 to qualify on the 3-2 aggregates. The other round of 16 second leg matches were owed next week across four centres, with the high points being the local derby involving two Ekiti State Universities.